in this video, we'll look at how to draw letter forms like this using arcs and p5.js as an arc function. So let's go to online editor and see how that works. So an arc starts with an ellipse function. I'm going to draw ellipse at the center of my screen. So this is an ellipse. An arc is just a part or a segment from an ellipse. So an arc function needs two more parameters. The rest is the same. So x and y coordinates, width and height, and then start angle and stop angle. Just to help visualize this, uh, let me just draw two lines. So that it looks something similar to so you know mathematical graph x-axis and y-axis and the way we calculate an angle in p5 starts from here this horizontal line right here so that's zero so if i want to only get a quarter of a circle like this then i will start from zero and continue on clockwise continue on clockwise to 90 degrees so let's write an arc function, which pretty much has the same value as the ellipse that I have above. But we know that we also need start angle and stop angle. So start angle is 0, and stop angle is 90. Maybe I can make it a little smaller so we can um, see the difference. So I'm just going to say 240, 240. OK, so we define start angle and the stop angle, but it doesn't look like this is 90 degree, right? It looks kind of strange. That's because the default angle mode is set to radians. If you're not familiar with radians, radians is how we measure an angle, just like degrees that I guess we are more used to. And radians has something to do with uh, the radius of a circle and the circumference of a circle as well, which I will not get too much into right here, but that's the default angle mode. And because we're not so used to using angles in terms of radian, I will just change it to degrees. So I'm going to go back up to setup and set the angle mode to degrees. Make sure you use all uppercase letters. So angle mode has either radians or degrees. And radians is the default. OK, now because I set the angle mode to degrees, it looks just fine. So that's basically it. Just remember that. Angle measurements start from here and going clockwise. And you might also want to set the angle mode to degrees. And can we maybe um, draw an arc from here all the way to the beginning point? So what will be the angle start angle? So that's a 0, 90, that'll be 180. And that's 270, back to 0, but that should be 360 because we're moving clockwise and value keeps increasing and let's add one more arc and make it a little smaller that'll be 180 to 360 and I want to just draw one more arc uh, which starts at 90 degrees going about 270 315 so 90 to 315 Great. And I'm going to also set the color, different colors for each. Now one more thing before we move on to drawing these letter forms, which is optional parameter that we can add, which determines uh, the drawing mode for arcs. So let me try on the last one. So we have x, y, width and height, start angle, stop angle, and I can add one more. The pi, pi is a default drawing mode. If you see how it sort of fills in this arc, that's pi. It's like pi or pizza, but we also have chord. Chord sort of connects the beginning point of an arc and end point of an arc. So I think there are some drawing potentials to try something interesting with this chord drawing mode. And we also have open. The difference here is that it does not sort of finish or close with the stroke. Just leave it open. Just like how we use begin shape and end shape with close as a parameter, right? So three different drawing mode. 
So pi is a default chord for open. So let me clear up a little bit. And I'm going to delete angle mode degrees so that it will use uh, the default radians angle mode. Only thing you need to remember when using radians for now is that 180 degrees equals pi radians. So radian is just another unit of measurement, just like degrees, inches, centimeters, etc. Then we can convert between degrees and radians when we are measuring an angle. So 180 equals pi radians. So if I want to draw from 0 to 90 degrees, then in terms of radians, that'll be uh, 90 is half of 180, so it'll be pi divided by 2. For pi, we treat it as a constant, and you have to use uh, all uppercase, because that's what P5JS provides us. So pi all uppercase divided by 2. And we can get the same arc as we use from 0 to 90 degrees, or in this case, 0 to half pi. So either pi over 2, there's another constant, half underscore pi. So what about if I want to draw from, from half pi to pi? And that'll be half pi, start angle, and ang angle will be just pi. So it'll take some time for you to just uh, convert back and forth between degrees and radians. And if you just don't want to worry about it at all, just use angle mode degrees. But I'm just showing you here because a lot of the examples you will find online will be using radians as a default measurement for angles. So I think it's important that you know that when you see half pi, pi, or two pi, that you know what they mean. Okay, move on to drawing letter forms. I'm gonna change the size of the canvas. So let's say a single unit is uh, 10 pixel. So that'll be 100 by 200. Just gonna zoom in to my screen a bit. Okay, the first one, the first segment here is just a line, straight line. We just start from 10, 10, all the way to 10, 190. So the line function, 10, 10 to 10, 190. And these two, we can draw with arc function, right? And in this case, we're not really looking for this beginning point coordinate or end point coordinate. Rather, we are sort of imagining there's a circle or ellipse, and we need to first find the center point and within height of that circle or ellipse, then define where it begins in terms of angle and where it ends. So in this case, I think that could be the center point. So I need to find the coordinate of this point. So that's x, 1, 2, 3, 4. And y will be uh, 6 unit down, so 60. So arc, 40, 60. And the width will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But that's only sort of the radius. I need to find the diameter, so I need to double that value. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 2 will be 100. And same with height. So that'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units times 2, 100. And start angle. Let's use angle mode degrees. And the start angle is starting from, if you imagine this circle, that's 0, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, so that's 270 degrees. 270 degrees to 360. I got this. Looks like uh, we need to disable fill in this case, because that'll be a struck font. And another arc will be, again, same thing here. We need to find the center point, this one. So that's x40, and y is uh, 8 units down. So 40 and 80. And it looks like it's got the same height, width and height, under 100, and starting from 0 degrees to 90 degrees. And so we're done. And before we draw this A shape, uh, let me go down and see how we can do this. You know, kind of thick, because these are all made up with stroke. I think I can play with stroke weight. So here, stroke weight is two units, so that's 20 pixels. So let me set the stroke weight to 20, which kind of looks 
similar and I kind of like this as well this just design but I just want to recreate exactly the same as this one and then I guess we first need to uh, change the stroke cap stroke cap current value is, looks like it's round I want to set it to square right just like cut it so it worked for my arcs but look at my line here because line started from 10 10 so it just cut off right there so we can do, use a project right so there are two options I think so you can either redraw this line from 0 uh, sorry 10 0 all the way to 10 200 and then use square as a stroke cap or keep the same coordinates but only for this line not for the arc but just for this line use project stroke cap so I think that's up to you but in this case I will just use um, stroke cap as project for the line and then update the stroke cap to square before I start drawing arcs and we get exactly the same shape as the reference image I'm just going to comment this all out and then work on the second shape same here arc I need to find the center point this one is x50 and y50 50 50 and the width is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 units so that's 80 in terms of y 1 2 3 4 times 2 so that's 80 and the start angle is 180 all the way up to 360 and the rest is just three different uh, straight lines so that'll be easy x10 y70 and x10 y190 another vertical line at the end that'll be 90 70 and 90 190 and the last line this one, so x is 20 and y will be 110. And x80, 110. Okay, great. Let's also play with stroke weight here. What if I change to 20 again? Okay, that's that. So I'm going to change stroke cap for my arc to square. And then change stroke cap to project. For my straight lines I think I'm missing here hmm I should have drawn this 10 units down for these two straight lines but that's okay we can fix that easily but here's another thing I want to try uh, what if I change stroke weight to something different will that also work yeah 10 works what if I try something pretty high 60 huh, that's fun I never tried it before so okay um, I'll let you try this third shape on your own Maybe you can pause and screen capture and redesign this or make your own even just to you know spend some time with this drawing arcs and combining with drawing other shapes that'll be a good exercise and i'll see you in the next video